if you guys don't know much about what is a LoRa and what it do. Then watch this intro to learn about it. It's like a DFM file which you can use to generate similar face images using stable diffusion. You don't need any special software or anything to generate anyone's realistic pictures if you train their LoRa. Like I am going to use Miley LoRa to generate her pictures. All you need to do select her LoRa and there a trigger word I will explain during video and generate any kind of her pictures with prompt. If you are new to my YouTube channel subscribe it and click on notification to learn and stay updated with AI world. Well let's get started and make your own LoRa. To make your data set make a new folder and name it something you want to name your LoRa. Make sure aim don't got any numbers. Inside that folder make another folder and name it anything you want. Inside that subfolder put picture of someone you want to make LoRa's of. More pictures means better result. For now I am just going to use 9 pictures of someone. Name pictures in numbers starting from 1. You also need to make a new text file for first image and type prompt in it like what he wearing anything you can think of. Also choose a trigger word which you can use in stable diffusion like mine is Zaki. Same way name all pictures and their text documents same with one trigger word. And your data set is ready. After dataset is ready upload it to your Google Drive. Click on Google Collab link in my description to go to LoRa Training Notebook. After page load click O runtime and select GPU if not selected and click save. Click on connect to connect with runtime. After connected run first cell after choosing mount drive option. After first cell run cell number 1.2 without any changes. Run cell number 2.1. You can choose a model from list and run this cell but if you want to choose your own model you need to put link and your hugging face token to download that model in cell 2.2. I recommend to use cell 2.2 with latest anything version. You can choose V cell or leave it without running. Before running cell 3.1 you need to put path of dataset you uploaded in Google Drive.
run this cell after putting path of dataset. If your dataset is in zip format you can choose cell number 3.2. Don't even think about using cell number 3.3 it will mess up your dataset folder. Skip all the 4.1 to 4.2.3 cells. In cell number 5.1 choose your LoRa name and path to model you want to use and run the cell. Run cell number 5.2, 5.3, 5.4 without any changes. Run cell number 5.5 without any changes this cell will generate your LoRa file when done running. After done training you will see your LoRa file. You don't need to run other cells. From folder on right side download your LoRa file. After downloading file go to your stable diffusion main folder then models then LoRa and paste this file inside there. Your LoRa is ready to use. To use it you need to have Stable Diffusion installed. Choose LoRa you made from options of LoRa. Just click on it it will be in prompt section. Type your trigger word and any prompt you want. This will surprise you with realistic pictures. I hope you like this video. If you got any question or request comment. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Take care.